Right everyone, this is the Fergie. I see it looks different. Everyone will be asking for progress and the big video that's describing how this has come to be uh, will be out in a couple of days. I'm just, oh well, I'll be honest with you, I've tried about three or four times to make the video and I, it just didn't, it didn't do it justice. So I've been making a few attempts. So bear with me. But this is what it looks like at the minute. It was finished, but obviously now it's in bits because the arms weren't working. Um, and I found out why it's full of gunk down there. Because this tractor used to be a boat tractor. For those of you that follow what we've been doing, you know this was a boat tractor. For those of you that don't, you now know it was a boat tractor. Um, and obviously on hot days driving into the sea, you have the cold water up against the side of the casting. It'll condensate on the inside and then it causes it to be full of water. As well as the fact that this was left for about 15 years outside with no... You know where the spring goes for the seat, the two bolts that hold the seat spring on, they were out and missing. So obviously water was going through them holes for 15 years. Filled it all up and made it full of gunk. I'll just show you. This is actually considerably cleaner than what it was, but uh, it's just gunky stuff like that. It's disgusting. Uh, it stinks as well. Those of you that are like mechanics and you know what gearbox oil smells like, this is like bad gearbox oil, so it stinks. Uh, yeah, all that sludge and crap, I've given this a blast off, um, was about this deep on the pump. So obviously the pump isn't going to get the oil in, so that's why the hydraulics didn't work. And the way this pump works, I'm sure most of you know, it's constantly pumping when the PTO is engaged. Um, and it has this little valve and then when you pull your quadrant it shuts the valve and then it directs the flow of oil into the cylinder uh, which moves your arms up and down because it was so full of gunk that valve couldn't close properly so obviously it would never be able to direct the flow of oil to the cylinder which is why the arms never worked so quick update on what happened here because it's a bit of a mess I tell you but I'm glad there's nothing wrong with that pump, it just wants a good clean. And it may be I could do with replacing that bypass valve, but I'll get it in bits, I'll have a look and I'll see what is happening. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's wanging it down. I'll get you a quick look at the Fergie. It's because this will be the first video you see of it. Engine's all redone, all polished, new tank under there. Uh, new everything basically. Everything you're looking at is brand new. I replaced every single bearing, every single washer, everything. So, new pistons, liners, new cylinder head, the head was machined. All of that is to come in the next video on the channel. Uh, yeah, I, I, like I said, I tried making the big reveal video quite a few times. All the tin work's been painted, I don't know if you can see. This wing's obviously off at the minute because I've been working, but this wing's safe with the seat. Uh, yeah, I, I kept trying to make the video, but it, 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 I could never get it the way I wanted it. And because I couldn't get it the way I wanted it, I just weren't, I wasn't happy. That's why I haven't released it. it those of you that follow my Instagram, you'll have known that the video were coming because I posted a picture of the tractor. That's when it had all its wings on. It's been taken off now though. Uh, yeah, so keep an eye on the channel for the new video. Uh, I do need to replace the injector nozzles, so Anglo or Agriline, if any of you want to do a collab, hit me up, we'll do it, we'll make it happen. Uh, that's it, so yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me, I know I've been gone for a while, I know I haven't done any re restoration or tractor videos for a while, but I am definitely getting back in it now, you'll see. Well, yeah, tell me what you want to see. Do you want to see tractor stuff? Do you want to see, like, daily, daily stuff, like what I get up to at the farm, or whatever? Because there's a Model T Ford that needs its engine rebuilding. I'm definitely filming that. Obviously, this tractor's nearly finished. When it's finished, it will be up for sale. So if you want to buy it, comment down below. I'll, I'll put my email in the description for any inquiries if you'd like to buy it, because, as I said, it's, it's been completely gone through. There's nothing to worry about with this tractor. It's completely, well, it's literally brand new. I'd say it's actually better than when it came out of the factory. So it will be when this is all redone. So yeah, if you'd like to purchase it, I'll leave my email, you can inquire. 
uh, comment down below what you want to see on the channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. I know it's been a couple of years. Yep. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.